Hello friends and welcome to our channel. In today's video, we'll share with you the best methods to play Chain Together on your Mac computer. This game lacks a Mac version, but we dug deep and found several workaround solutions that we'll now share with you. The methods that will be explained next are Boosteroid, Crossover, and Bootcamp. Let's get started. Cloud gaming services let you stream the game over the internet, so you don't have to download it, making this an ideal method if you're short on storage space, don't have a powerful Mac, or simply want a straightforward option that's easy to set up and use. The downside is having a bad internet connection or being far from the cloud gaming servers that can negatively impact your experience, causing lag, stuttering, and decreased visual quality. With Boosteroid's standard subscription plan, the game's image quality is capped at 1080p and 60 frames per second. And with the Ultra plan, you can get up to 4K resolution and 120 FPS with ray tracing. However, whether you're actually getting the image quality depends on your internet. The service automatically diminishes the game's resolution to keep the performance smooth if you're experiencing connectivity disruptions. To run the connection test, follow the link below the video to the Boosteroid site. Then register or use the Google sign up option. And once you're logged in, click the network test button at the top. This will give you a general estimation of the performance you can expect when gaming through Boosteroid. But note, even if you get only two bars, this doesn't necessarily mean that the game will be unplayable. We tested Boosteroid with such a connection. And while there was occasional decrease in image quality and some stuttering, the experience was still mostly okay for casual gamers. Needless to say, anything above two bars is great for pretty much any game. If you decide to try the service after testing your connection, first go to the profile page, click subscribe, and start your subscription. Once you're subscribed, type the game's name in the search bar at the top, click on the play button, and click on OK, let's go. Finally, enter your username and password for the respective game store, and the game will load inside your browser. For an even smoother gameplay, we recommend using a dedicated Mac OS app that you can download from its site. But if you still prefer to play directly from the browser, we recommend Chrome and Firefox as the service seems to work best with these two. This app provides you with several translation layers that can be used to run Windows software directly in your Mac OS. Chain Together has moderately high requirements, so you'll need at least an M1 MacBook Pro with 16 gigabytes of unified memory if you want a good enough experience with crossover. A 16 gigabyte M1 Pro should be able to achieve around 50 to 60 FPS when running the game at medium settings. On the other hand, don't expect any wonders if you're trying to play the game on an 8 gigabyte MacBook Pro Air. In this case, cloud gaming will bring better results if you have a decent internet connection. Now, if you want to play Chain Together with Crossover, start by clicking the link below in the video and then download and install the app on your Mac. As a courtesy to our viewers, you will get a 10% off the purchase price if you use the affiliate link in the description. You can also choose a 14 day free trial in case you want to just take it for a spin before deciding whether to commit to the service. Once you install Crossover, go to the bottle menu and create a new bottle with Windows 10 compatibility. Then right click the bottle, select install software, search for Steam and install it. Log into the Steam client and search for Chain Together and download it. If you don't already own the game, you should purchase it now directly from the client. Once the download finishes, exit Steam, go to its bottle, enable the D3D Metal and eSync options, and reboot the bottle if required to. Now reopen Steam and find the game in your library. After that, you can finally launch the game and start playing it on your Mac. The third and final method we want to tell you about is Bootcamp. This tool lets you split your Mac's drive into two and install Windows in one of the partitions. Then you can download and play Chain Together in the Windows partition. Note that this method only works on Intel-based Macs, and most of them lack a powerful enough GPU to run this game with decent performance. Still, if you're willing to give this workaround a try and think your Mac can handle the game, here's what you can do. To use Bootcamp, first download a Windows 10 64-bit file from Microsoft, then go to your Utilities folder and start the Bootcamp Assistant app. Load the Windows file in it and give enough space for the Windows partition, leaving at least 20 gigabytes for your Mac OS, and then launch the installation. Your Mac will restart, and then you must follow the prompts to install Windows. Once you get the product key screen, Simply click I don't have a product key option to continue. 
Once Windows is finally ready, update your drives and install any missing Windows updates, and you're ready to go. All that's left to do at this point is to download the game like you would on a regular Windows PC, and it should run without any compatibility issues. So those were all the current available methods to play Chain Together on your Mac. We hope that this video will help you have fun on your Apple machine. Tell us in the comments if you tried any of the suggested methods and share your experience with them. Also, if you have any questions or need help with any of our guides, don't hesitate to request our aid and we'll help you to the best of our abilities. For more similar guides and other Mac gaming content, smash the subscribe button and we'll see you in the next one.